and uh, previous game levels, he could be anywhere he wanted to be just by virtue of just running there. Yeah. It's a little different in this game, I think. Yeah, and now that Sonic Spin Dash works differently, um, we're going to be seeing him use it uh, not as much as Smash 4. He's going to be relying on, uh, quite a bit on his aerials mm -hmm. as well. And also, you can't forget that Spin Dash, for whatever reason, honestly, why? Combos into homing attack. I don't know why. <laughs> why is it a thing? I did it for for giggles and chuckles <laughs> in Smash 4, but I didn't really want it to be a thing. That's stupid. There's any uh, just carrying him off the stage right there. Putting in damage early. Um, let's see what let's see what dynamic Luke is able to bring to it, you know. Uh, different little different Peaky Thunder than Ness, of course, so I don't wonder the strategy's gonna be very similar. Set up the Peaky yeah. Thunder turret and uh, put in the damage. And we also got a new function with PK Ice. Uh, PK Freeze. Oh PK Freeze, yeah, yeah. Uh, don't be off stage at 30, because you'll die. <laughs> um, wow, deep. He went deep. Is Ooh, that enough? That yes, is enough. Is. Sonic can do that. Also, the air dodge mechanic kind of buffed Sonic's uh, recovery as well. Because he, like in Smash 4, he can air dodge after upping. No. So he can air dodge to the ledge if he can't reach it with a normal Oh, upping. yeah. That's, uh, no, that's, that's definitely really good. Just another uh, little option for Sonic just to uh, hold on to stocks a little bit longer. And speaking of holding on to stocks, uh, j -Tail's also doing a pretty good job uh, holding on to the stock. Yeah, and we're seeing we're seeing Mero right now just trying to shark out j -Tail's stock here, throwing out Zares, PK Fires, and Up Airs. But it hasn't been working. He hasn't been covering Phoenix as much as he should be with Lucas. Uh -huh. and, and uh, because of that, Phoenix had lost his first stock, albeit at 150-something percent, but still his stock nonetheless. And taking that with the up throw. Oh, yeah. Lucas has like three kill throws still, I think. I don't know why he, he has them. I'm fine with it, <laughs> but like, I, I still don't He know has why. them to take all the stocks and make sure he's a good doubles character. Yeah. <laughs> Just work through all those shields. <laughs> Phoenix trying to catch Zenyu before he rolled behind, but he just got thrown off stage instead. And Phoenix is trying his best to keep Mayro uh, on stage here. And looks like it's all just working against Phoenix right now. Yeah, the red team had a little bit of momentum right there. Good, ah. good, good pickup right there for JTL. It's a great trade. He saw that throw was there, so he charged up a little bit of a forward smash, waited for that grab invincibility to end. Kind of sucks too because I know what Nero was going for with the back of there. It looked like he was trying to go for something with a hitbox. But yeah. Lucas doesn't have a hitbox on his throws, so that was just unfortunate timing for him. That's the trade-off, I guess. Uh, you know, of all the kill throws, but it's not—it's hard to do a kill throw if your opponent's right on top of you yeah. on doubles. Nero here just trying to get that Zenyu stock. Not the, not gonna get it with Zares, but he gets it with the strong hit of Forge. Why is that shield <laughs> getting so pressured? Let go, Mayro. And uh, Meteor doing, uh, or not Meteor, Fe uh, Phoenix doing a great job uh, holding on to the stock. Kind of just really clutching it out for his team, keeping what? them in the lead. All right, very nice and air out of shield right there. Jay Tails trying to set up Mayro into a uh, ledge guarding situation, but he's getting comboed now by Phoenix, who's trying to keep Mayro back on stage. Yeah, good coverage right there, just able to you know, a little dangerous situation, but is able to, you know, put out the fire and get them back into stage control, back to the game plan. Yeah, and one thing that uh, I actually noticed with, uh, with Phoenix here, he's been running back and forth between uh, Zenyu and J-Tails, just getting some straight hits here and there, I even if it means don't, uh, throwing out dash attack, because he wants to make sure that they get some chip damage that Mero has been uh, slacking off on for a bit. <laughs> But Being the great disruptor and just, yeah. you know. That, that's something that Sonic's good at. Right. Have, have you seen Subspace Emissary <laughs> coming at the very end just with a homing attack on Taboo? Like, Holding on to a stock and clutching it out at the very end. Uh, no plot spoilers. Yeah, <laughs> yeah and um, another thing to note with Sonic is you can check out uh, what his charge is, even without sound out. He glows gold when he, uh, when he has full charge on Spin Dash. Also, um, the longer you hold uh, homing attack, the, the more damage it does. So watch out uh, if you're holding shield because he can break shield. Oh, that shield stab was big. Uh, j -Tail's dropping that stock and Zenyu's oh. the, on his last. Yeah, Zenyu uh, having a fight back in the 2v1 right now. And looks like Zenyu is trying to opt for uh, baiting them to the ledge here. But he has no double jump, has to weave around all these projectiles. And that was really good coverage from both Mayro and Phoenix. Not able to keep him off stage since Zenyu has center stage now. But that risky up smash could have cost him the game. 
But credit to Zen. Oh, PK oh, Fire's gonna seal it. Bang. Read that. Uh, read that ledge option right there. Yo, hit him with the money. <laughs> like, uh, it, it literally looks like he he's making uh, like Lucas is making it rain. Like, he just kinda, fire money right there. <laughs> kind of just throws it out like, hey, uh, here have your payment. Get away from me. All right, and here's a little interesting. It's a plot twist for you, stream, because before we've been seeing Zenyu and J Tails just sort of. Smooth sailing, just running, running train throughout the whole entire bracket. Now they've hit a little, hit a little roadblock. Yeah. They're, they're down a game, talking it over, trying to figure out what's, uh, what's wrong. And you know, a lot of the, a lot of credits got to go to Phoenix, just disrupting so much throughout that entire game. Sonic holding true to the archetype, foiling his opponent's game plans since 2008. Since whenever, <laughs> uh, whenever he was, con uh, the idea of Sonic was conceived, like. Oh, we got a freezed cam, uh, frozen camera here. Uh, hope you guys enjoy seeing uh, players communicate. Kodak moment, feel it. Kodak moment. Yeah, feel Just. the Kodak moment, guys. <laughs> uh, huh. Oh yeah, uh, guys, don't forget to follow Fire and Dice Games on Twitch if you haven't, and their Twitter, which is the same thing, right? Yeah, F uh, yeah. Fad ga uh, FAD Games, yeah. Yeah, FAD Games on Twitter and on Twitch if you want more of this content. Also got uh, the locals going on at Thursday for Smash. For same thing on fan mm -hmm. fan games. So, oh, it's still frozen. I, I thought I thought we fixed the camera, but it's okay. Ah, uh, sorry, we're moving into the gameplay. Going into it onto Town and City here. Uh, believe that the platforms are going to be static since everything is hazard off. Yeah, and I'm interested to see you know that they picked this specific stage. Um, maybe they're trying to open it up a little bit, uh, work off. That one platform in the center, but also those ones off the edge, try to maybe give some more coverage. Uh, I don't know. It's it's always kind of the riddle. How do you stop Sonic from disrupting? Yeah, it looks like they picked the stage to survive longer off the top. As a uh, pool, he almost got stretched there. Uh, but yeah, one of Lucas's powerful kill throws is his up throw, and uh, Mero was able to get that off quite a bit in the last game. So I'm pretty sure that they picked this. To uh, remedy not getting killed off the top by Sonic up air yeah. and uh, Lucas up air and Lucas up throw. And actually, the platforms did move out of the uh, out of the way, so yeah, and definitely open uh, open the game up. Yeah, and it's interesting how with even with hazards off, the platforms still switch around. Yeah. And they're currently uh, just a, a very interesting. Oh, very good down smash for coverage right there. Oh, dude, you got the splits. <laughs> Yo, get off my dance floor! Like, give, give me the stage. Hey, yeah, he caught he caught trying to cheat a little bit right there. Uh, you know, normally go to the ledge. Oh, oh wow! Stocks are stock. flying away. Yeah, uh, J Tails got Mero stock, and then J Tails lost his stock to Phoenix. Phoenix is like, why, why, why are you uh, screwing my man here? Like, get, 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 take this out, take this out. My God. Zenyu's shield going super low because of that spin dash homing attack pressure. Uh, oh my god, I thought he was just going to continue that whole thing on both of them. I wonder if our running into the Sonic might have messed up his spacing just a little bit because it was about to be Zenyu in the training room all day. Yeah, and that was that actually benefited both Mayra and Phoenix, although they took a lot of uh, percent from it. But it, it caused uh, Zenyu's timing to go off since the hit stun uh, was doubled since he was hitting two characters at once. One of the things I've been noticing uh, with with uh, Phoenix just going in and out, I think J Tails and uh, Zenyu need to have a little bit more discipline on holding their shield because he's getting so much mileage out of the homing attack that yeah. they just shield drop and the homing attack comes in. Yeah, if, oh wow. Just able to spin, get the spin dash invincibility on the up smash before, uh, before he got hit. Yeah, Zenyu was uh, fiending for that. It was close. I I'm still tilted how like Sonic's F smash like <laughs> uh, reaches further than. Oh, wow. that retail stock. He was he accidentally hit himself with the PK Thunder there and killed himself for it. Zenyu almost picked up a big stock right there on Miro with the uh, footstool, but he able to you know adequately get back with the PK Thunder too. I was a little scared. I know if I'm down there in the blast zone, I can't see anything. I know I'm dying. Yeah. <laughs> That's what makes him a Lucas man, right? <laughs> yep. And looks like Phoenix is still trying to fiend for the Zenyu stock right here, but he's got to keep keep the balance there. Oh, uh, finally, making uh, Zenyu approach him, turns around and gets him with the fist. Uh, I still don't know why it's so long, but I, <laughs> I think that's a reference to his unleashed punches. 
And red team with a comfortable lead right now. Very nice angled shield from Zenyu there. Yeah, that time holding it. They, they, yeah. they heard Coach Lutz on the commentary holding their shield on that helming attack. Bro, oh, I, I, I looked over to see if Zenyu was holding he had headphones <laughs> like, or earbuds in his ear. Like, oh, oh you said hold shield? Uh, uh, tilt it a bit? Yeah, I got you, I got you. Oh, back throw, not going to take that stock just yet. Just a little but bit But PK early. Thunders are out. And it's back to the game plan eventually. Sooner or later, PK Thunder comes for all of us. Looking like uh, the, <laughs> it was looking like the Smash trailer right there. Sonic running away from the PK yep. Thunder, uh, the gleam, uh, you know, explosion. <laughs> yeah. But they tied it up. They tied it up. Made the adjustments they needed. We're looking at one one. Got our camera back. Shout outs to production. Looking good. Uh, going back and forth, and now we got a we got a close one now. Game three. Yeah, I feel like in in this uh, particular gameplay. Uh, especially with how JTales and Zenyu have adjusted, I would like to see Mero start uh, staying back a little bit more because uh -huh. he is Lucas. While like while he has powerful hitboxes, hit hits his hitboxes are his hurt boxes. Yeah. Except for like fair. No. Uh -huh. But like, start using the PK fire a little bit more because Phoenix has been uh, avoiding a lot of Mero's uh, hitboxes uh, quite well. But oh, we're gonna see them both switch for Mero. Uh, what do you think about this? I think they're, you know, it's part of, they're probably looking for that damage that you were talking about. Uh, you know, Phoenix is doing Phoenix things, weaving in and out, able to get Red Team to really chase after him. And I think they're looking for maybe a little bit more ability and a little bit more speed from Wolf to really put, you know, put in damage and uh, put work in. It could just be, you know, Mero's a little more, you're feeling a little uncomfortable. But definitely, yeah, when it was J Tails versus Mero, J Tails seemed to be getting the better of that matchup. And, you know, Mero's still even in a little bit of trouble. Good cover by Phoenix, though, getting him out of that situation. All right, JTEL's going to go with another PK Thunder just to keep Phoenix on the stage, uh, on the ledge. And he almost got the PK Thunder 2 to connect, but Phoenix was just in time to intercept the PK Thunder 1. And all you see that, uh, they're going to start sending up that Sonic down throw combo to the Wolf down smash. He was able to tech it, but, oh. oh. I'm not sure what sent him that way. I know Mario hit him, but I don't know what. Thunder too. Like the very uh, tail no, no, end no, of it. No, I don't know what hit Wolf into uh, the Thunder too. Gotcha. Oh yeah, uh, remember that PS side magnet has a set knockback for Ness now. So uh, be careful when you're trying to uh, to uh, challenge that. Oh, very nice coverage. Uh, reading yeah, read, the jump. Yeah, I read the jump option. Uh, Mayor going around along for the ride there. <laughs> Yeah, Phoenix just being so, you know, playing so well. But j -Tail's matching him, holding on to that stock. Very good. There's that forward smash we've been talking about, covering all that range and landing. j -Tail's on the hunt right now for Phoenix. j -Tail's here. Oh, did not get punished for the parry, but j -Tail's trying to gimp May uh, Mayro there. Wow, everyone's throwing up. I'm not, I'm not sure if it's uh, on purpose or not to get out of uh, bad situations. But I'll give them the benefit of the doubt saying it's, uh, it is on purpose. Uh, they're doing really well at utilizing uh, parries to get out of uh, the ledge. Yeah. Uh, PK fires out. Oh my god, so much damage. Get out of there, Mero! <laughs> ah! A little bit of uh, miscue right there, some friendly fire, but yeah, j -Tail's putting in work. He's probably putting 100 damage in about 20 seconds. Yeah, and Phoenix is still struggling to keep j -Tail's on the wraps here. Also struggling with keeping his stock. He's at max range. And he's got to watch out for almost any straight hit from both these guys. Wow, all three of them off stage here. Ah! Oh, wow, he jumped into it. I think he tried to back air just a little yeah. bit late. Just a little bit. That's, that's a game of inches, man. If he's, you know, a couple inches early or a couple, couple inches sooner, he's got that kill. But because he was late, that was a stock. There's a stock. Uh, albeit it wasn't an early stock, it was a quite uh, a, a stock that was taken quite late into his life. Uh, so. I wouldn't say a good trade because it was still a stock. Silver but, lining. Silver lining. It was they, they're silver lining to it. Uh, <laughs> Biggie hey, so good. Phoenix, you, <laughs> Phoenix, my man. Why? You just died. You're at 130 now. <laughs> up tilt gonna take that stock. Very nice anti-air. A lot of the up tilts in this game are really good anti-airs now. He's covering a lot of space above characters. They are holding on to this stock as well. I, and they're gonna go after J Tails in a 2v1. Oh uh, no, Mero's trying to put the wall up, letting Phoenix go to work. Yeah, Phoenix here putting up his fair wall and nice Good tech. tech. Oh wow. Oh no, he's gonna get Wow, hit. that was a smart play. If you saw that the spring, it canceled out 
the distance on the, yeah. on the PK Thunder 2 able to put away. No matter yes. what PK Thunder hits, or whatever PK Thunder 2 hits, it lowers the amount of distance he goes. So that was really good awareness from Phoenix there. All the Sonic players are just like, Galaxy oh, Brain no. Gods and okay. doubles. <laughs> oh no, oh. he got Gim. I uh, missed uh, miss Q and what was looking like a pretty Pretty good red team uh, chance at winning. Now they're in a huge amount of trouble. zenny has got to pull off the miracle. Oh, he's got the he can do it. <laughs> okay, I thought I thought he was gonna carry them from one side to the other. Like you're mine. Could you imagine if like Zenyu had double kill? Oh my God! Up kill. smash. Gotta gotta break dance on like, everyone. If, if you're a melee character, you don't have a break dance move. Are you really a melee character? Like Wolf, Wolf's got his up smash. Sonic and Mario's got their down smash. So, but yeah, you know.